once you have that, you can just put it in the pile over here and we just go to the next one. You're going to do that for all of your solar cells before you even start assembling them together. And what you can do is test the voltage just to make sure you do have it soldered on correctly. And you can touch anywhere on the back of it. And each one of these solar cells gets 0.5 volts. So if it gets anywhere near that, you know that you probably have it hooked up correctly. So as you can see, that's showing 0.412 volts. So that's pretty close to 0.5, so you can tell that it's hooked up correct. So then you just move on to the next one. All right, now since we have our tab and wire on all of our solar cells, we can start to assemble them together. And we're gonna just use the template that we made. So what you do is just place one here. That's the starter. Then you're gonna take another one and I'm gonna place that over top of it. And basically, this just help, uh, help us align it so it'll be straight when we actually put it on the peg. So I'm just gonna go ahead and trim these up. Make sure your tab and wire is straight again. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our flux pin and apply some flux to the thick white lines on top. And I just usually just do one at a, at a time. So then we're gonna take our soldering iron and begin to solder this together. It's recommended that you have, I believe, a 60 watt soldering on or a soldering on that you can adjust the, the actual heat and everything, but I mean, anything to do, this is, the one I have right now is just a 30 watt soldering iron, but it does take a little time to get used to. And this is probably, depending on the type of soldering iron that you have, this can take a pretty decent amount of time to get finished. So I would recommend to get like a, a nice soldering iron. This one I have really isn't that uh, professional, but I mean it gets the job done. It just takes a while. Again, I would recommend wearing gloves because because this can get pretty hot. It's like the heat shoots straight down the wire. You don't really want to burn yourself. All right, so I got one on, so I'm gonna go to the next one. Put some flex on the other side. Take our solder on out again. Tap it where I want. Start the Some people uh, put uh, solder on the end just to give it a nice bond to the actual solar cell. Sometimes you do have to do that if, if you don't have a good solder on iron. Uh, it just helps to keep the tabbing wire down. But sometimes I can just get it on the first try without putting the extra sod on And I just used to go back over just to try to make sure that the tabbing wire is completely flat on the solar cell. Alright, 
right, so once you've done that, you're done with those two solar cells. So once we're done with those two, we're going to just take another cell and do the same thing to that. And you're just going to do that for the entire uh, length of the template. And you're just going to repeat the same process. But what I do usually, just to make sure I'm getting the right voltage out of these two, because I should get at least close to one volt out of these two, is just test it with my digital multimeter. I have used a light source of lamp, which I have right now that I can use and just having that shine on top of it. And again, you can touch anywhere on the bottom of the solar cell, and that's my positive. And I'm gonna touch one of these black, one of these thick white lines on the last solar cell, and my multimeter is reading 0.976 volts, so that's pretty close to one volt, so I know these two are hooked up correctly. So then after I do that, I'll go to the next solar cell and add that. And that's basically all you have to do as far as hooking these up together. So after I got a few done, I got two columns done. I just went ahead and put them on my pegboard so I could uh, see exactly where I was going to position them. Because before I put the pegboard on the plywood, I just wanted to see where my screws would have to be. And I used, again, the uh, tile spacers just to make sure the solar cells were evenly apart. And I can just figure out what the third column is going to look like. So again, this just gives me an idea where I'm going to need a screw and where I need to have my positive and negative connection wires drilled at. And I have my bus wire up here as well, but I haven't actually soldered that together. But I'll show you how I'm going to go about doing that. That's not really too hard. So yeah, I would recommend to do this just so you would know where you need to screw because I'm not just going to have screws on the outside of the pegboard, but I am going to have them maybe in the middle going along this line here, maybe two or three and maybe two or three coming down this column between the second column and the third column. Alright, now I'm going to just place the pegboard inside of the plywood. And I'm not going to leave the solar cells in when I start drilling, but I mean, it's, I can easily take these off and I'm ready to start. Alright, now I have applied my pegboard inside the plywood and I went ahead and put my screws in it. And I had just marked where I was going to put all my screws. And what I'm going to do now, as you can see, is some places that I need to go back over with the paint. And I'm gonna go over the screws as well just to provide an extra layer of protection from the UV rays and everything. The same paint that I put on the plywood and the pegboard. So that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do right now. All right, so now I've finished painting and just going over the screws and everything. And I'm probably just gonna put one coat on it because most of this is gonna be covered by pixel glass in a way, so it's not gonna really have any contact with any water or anything like that so you, you probably can get away with just putting one coat if you want to put two coats that's fine I mean it doesn't matter so I'm just gonna let this dry and then I'll probably start drilling my holes at the other end of it for my positive and negative connections Hey guys, to speed up the process of me getting the rest of the videos out, just subscribe to this video as it does show me you guys are interested and I try to speed up the process of getting the rest of the videos out as I do have to edit these and I do try to make them interesting. So again, just subscribe to the video and I try my best to get them out a little quicker for you guys.